Hello, hello, Crafty Cradle fam. In this video, I am painting a clipboard. Why a clipboard, you ask? Because I am in a class and this was one of our assignments. At this point, I've taken a picture of both sides of the clipboard and I'm just gonna hop into Procreate and draw out what I think it should look like. As you saw, I went through the sanding process, I then wetted it down, I took a picture of it, and am now starting my sketch. I'm using references from my classmate's um, personal presentation that she had to do for the class, and painting her dogs, a soccer ball, and a paddleboard for her because these are her interests. This assignment was so much fun to complete, and I had a rather difficult time with it, to be honest, just because through um, the composition that I chose and just not being super familiar with painting animals. Uh, I just, I struggled, but I had a great time overall. I used my Miyahimi gouache for this painting and I think that this was a good choice. What you don't see at the end of the video is that I did go over it again with a varnish so that the paint would stay on the canvas and wouldn't uh, wouldn't chip off or flake off, so it's protected for her. So I've just noticed kind of, not really a problem, but um, this is a very white dog. He's very light colored, and I keep trying to like go into my paint, grab some paint, mix it out with my brush. And so I've realized that this is inefficient and just um, wasteful because I keep having to clean my brush to go back into the white so that I don't muddy up the white. So I've started using a palette knife. I don't really use a palette knife. <laughs> I've used this exactly one other time. Um, so I'm still learning how to mix with it and learn how to use it. But I think that overall this will help my mixing workflow with my jelly gouache because I, again, won't have to waste so much paint just continuously washing my brush in between mixing. And it hopefully will also be a time saver. So fun tip. Try to use a palette knife. Also, does anyone know how to get this stupid sticker off? I sanded this so much and like the sticker never came off. At this point, I'm just gonna cover it with paint, but in the future with stuff like that, how do you get the stickers off? Please comment below if you know. As you can see, I just continued forward with the painting regardless of the sticker and continued to use the paint that I had been using, trying to mix colors that matched the colors of her dogs as best as I could, though as I stated, I did kind of struggle with this as well. Overall, do the dogs actually bear a likeness to hers? Yeah, I mean, sort of. They've got similar markings and whatnot, but to be honest, they're not perfect. They're not realistic looking by any means, but... That's okay because this is meant to be just a memento of our time in this class together, something for her to look back on and say, oh yeah, I really liked that class. So to be honest, it didn't need to be perfect. It just needed to be special and something that I am excited to give to her in June when we have our kind of class graduation. I've been doing this class since September and so it's been a while now and it's exciting to kind of see it just come to fruition and come to the end of the class and actually have something to give this person who I didn't even know when the class started. None of us really knew each other. Uh, I only knew one other person in the class and that's because they work at the same company that I do. And so it's just been a real learning experience. If you're curious, the class is actually a leadership class. So I am learning leadership concepts and just community outreach kind of stuff. Uh, it is very fun and something that I am enjoying doing as part of my continuing education and just learning. Here you see me painting over the sticker, which you don't see at the end, but I do end up going back over the sticker two or three more times to get a flat wash of color because the paint did not cover it the same as it did the regular clipboard texture. Um, the texture kind of let the paint move around too much when I was applying it. So I did have to have multiple layers so that the paint had something else to stick to. Overall though, I think this clipboard was a very fun canvas to work on. If you've never worked on this type of consistency, it was really fun. Uh, I would liken it probably to a canvas board, but like a gessoed canvas board. So it was not in any way textured. It was just really flat and smooth and easy to paint on, honestly. It was a lot of fun to do. 
Here you see my finalized piece. Uh, you can still definitely see the sticker kind of poking out, but regardless, I am happy with how it turned out. And I am again, very excited to give it to the person who it's for. Please let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Yeah, at this point, I am done with this side. I am going to paint the other side. Uh, I'm going to paint the front of it green and then I'm going to do a design in yellow and I'm actually going to put the participant's name on here so I'm not going to show you that for her privacy and so this is really the end of this video um the only other thing that would change that I could show you is the green and then once I start the yellow it won't really be um appropriate to put on the internet without their permission so this is what you get this is my finished clipboard project. I am so excited with how this turned out and I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you liked this video and if you have any suggestions for other weird things that I can paint in the future. Thank you so much. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.